It's here! Subaru's new XV has arrived in Australia and it looks just like the old one. But a lot has changed. For starters, this is a completely new generation XV. The platform it sits on is Subaru's new global platform, which could totally change the way it drives and feels. The engine completely overhauled from the piston rings up. The ground clearance stays the same at 220 millimeters, which is very high, but somehow Subaru's magicians have lowered the center of mass by five millimeters for better handling. What else is new? Better aerodynamics. That front bumper is more aerodynamic and so is that back one. Even the tail lights are slipperier. The wiper blades are now flatter so you can see out the windscreen better. The doors are thicker and so are the windows to keep the noise out. The wheelbase has been lengthened and that means more legroom in the back. Now, I'm a freak. I'm 191 centimetres tall. That's quite tall. This seat is in my driving position and I've got enormous amounts of space right there. What else has changed? These seats, Subaru says that they've made them more like the front seats. They are definitely more comfy. But the most important thing I like about the cabin that's changed is that touchscreen. My God, thank you Subaru, you needed to do that. The new touchscreen is more intuitive and much easier to use. It's a beauty. It's a 6.5 inch in the base spec car and an 8 inch in all the others. But all come with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So much has changed in the cabin, from the smaller steering wheel which is easier to hold, more aircon vents and a better sound system, to the more accommodating seats and the centre console with its new electric handbrake and deep storage bin. There's a high quality feel, especially in the top of the range 2.0 IS grade we drove at the launch. I hate orange, but I love that stitching. But enough of this flirty chit chat. What's the new Subaru XV like to drive on Australian roads? Let's find out. Yep, the new XV is just as ugly as the old one, but cute and rugged ugly. How do you spot a new one from the old one? Well, on the new gen car, the headlights are sleeker, the grille is darker, and the tail lights now extend into the tailgate. I've got a bit of a confession to make. I wasn't the biggest fan of the original Subaru XV when it came out. I just thought it was a bit bit gutless. Well, look, actually, that's not fair. The engine, 110 kilowatts, that's not too gutless. It was more the CVT, which is what was causing me my frustration. You'd accelerate and it would just get noisier and uh, you couldn't get the drive to the wheels properly. Now, that is, that is a bit of a characteristic of a CVT. It's like a picture a rubber band. No, don't picture a rubber band. Look it up. Google it. But, they have improved the CVT in this one. So while it is still a CVT and it still winds on a little bit and it has trouble trying to get the power down properly, in my mind, it is much better than the last one. So the XV is now on a new platform. So imagine it like a, a skateboard and you put the XV hat on top. That skateboard is a global platform which, which has been developed by Subaru and it is amazing. It's changed for me so much about the characteristics of this car. It now rides better, it now handles better. It feels tighter and tauter. The body itself is talking of tighter and tauter. The body itself is two times, one and a half to two times more rigid. And what that means is that when you go around a corner, it doesn't wobble. You don't feel it sort of leaning as much because it holds steady. It's like a brick going around a corner, more, more like it. Insulation in the car is, is also fantastic. We're chugging along here at about 100 k's on, on fairly coarse chip Aussie roads and my god I don't even have to raise my voice much to make myself heard. A lot more quiet a tranquil experience in the cabin. Alright, what else do you need to know? You also need to know that Subaru has the most ridiculous naming structure for its variants of XV. The entry spec is called the 2.0i, and then above that you've got the 2.0iL, and then above that you've got the 2.0i Premium, and then above that you've got the 2.0iS. 
I'll never really ever commit that to memory like that again. All right, the manual gearbox has gone. So all gearboxes, all transmissions now are CVT automatics. What's the other thing you need to know? You also need to know that all Subaru XVs are all-wheel drive. Subaru's asymmetrical all-wheel drive system is, is fantastic. It's actually one of the better ones out there. The overhauled four-cylinder engine now makes a bit more power. It's not gonna win any drag races, but it's enough, just. The new XV now comes with X mode. Well, how that works is when the road is icy or you're on mud or dirt, you hit that button right there and providing you do 40 k's or less, the system combines all wheel drive, the engine and braking to help you keep traction. There's also a hill descent control which works going backwards as well. We tested it out during the off-road section of the launch and I was impressed. This is a city SUV, but the all wheel drive, excellent ground clearance, X mode and hill descent make it much better off-road than most of its rivals. All XVs, apart from the base spec car, come with Subaru's EyeSight safety system, which has AEB that'll stop the car if you're moving at less than 45 kilometers an hour. It's a great system that's also scary smart. It can recognize brake lights, but that strength is also a weakness. The system stopped working for us in heavy fog because it uses cameras, and like eyes, they can't see through that stuff. The top spec XV gets more standard safety stuff, such as blind spot monitoring and AEB, which works when you're going backwards. So there you have it, the new generation Subaru XV. We've finally driven it on Australian roads and also Aussie dirt as well. That new platform is amazing. A much more comfortable ride and really, really good handling too. The Auto, the CVT is much better than the last one too. Hey, it looks just like the last one, but a lot's changed for the better. And if you want to read the full review, click on this little guy right here. Oh, and subscribe. That way you can stay on top of all our latest videos.